Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to show you my 2016 Erin Condren Life Planner and how I've been using it so far this year. Uh, so I have this pretty cover on right now with my name. I have their post-it notes on the front, which I use quite frequently when I pre-plan. I haven't put my name here yet. I'm using this to track my uh, monthly cycles. I haven't found a use for the note pages yet. I'm thinking of putting either my goals for every month there or using them to just put memories for the month. So this is my January monthly spread. I kind of went with the snow. So again, like I did last year, I put major things like dance, no schools, uh, when family comes by, um, doctor's appointments, special lunch things for the, or sorry, special school things for the kids, that sort of thing. And I what, didn't use anything for my goals section. This is the end of December 2015 and the first week of January 2016 and I did a lot more uh, decorating this month than I usually do. I did two different washes at the bottom, a bunch of different stickers and I also did a lot of full boxes and I went with the theme uh, colors for the month, the uh, orange and teal. And then this month, or this week, sorry, I did a pink and orange theme. Again, washi along the bottom. I covered up the little uh, gratitude square there, and I was going to use this as a to-do list, but never got around to doing that. Um, I always use a weekend banner. I've been really enjoying doing the washi at the bottom and along the side to just give it a bit of color and go with a theme. Um, I'm using my meals at the bottom here. I've become a huge fan of Libby & Co stickers and Chrissy Ann Design. So most of my stickers are from those two shops which I will link down below. The following week I again went with the orange and teal but I added a bit of navy into it. So I really like how that turned out. Again, didn't use my to-do list here. The following week I did purple and yellow. And this week my uh, mom came to visit and my grandma, so we had a bit of a busier week. This time I tried doing like some to-dos up here at the top. The following week I again went back to the orange for the last week, orange and teal, sorry, for the last week of the month. And I tried to do to-do to go to call, which I never ended up filling in. So I really need to figure out some way to utilize this that works better for me. Uh, then again, no use for the note page yet. Going into the February monthly, I went with the Valentine's theme. I used washi to track the week that my kids have no school. Sorry, my cat keeps trying to come over and step on the planner. Dance, field trips, special things like that. This is the first week of January. I didn't do washi down the side, but I did do washi at the bottom. I tracked my meals as usual. Pretty basic week here. Then this was Valentine's week, so definitely went with more reds this theme there this week, and I went with uh, to do on the side, and I started using little Chrissy Ann Designs dots down, and I actually used that this week, so that helped me out. And the following week, I did purple, and again did the dots down the sides and started using that. And then this is this week, which I've not finished, obviously, but I'm doing kind of like a pink lemonade with yellow theme. So I used the sticker from Scribble Prints Co. down the side to do to do to go to buy and to watch. And I'm on a no kick, no TV kick this week, so I'm not watching anything this week. Hence my little sad face right there. Just feel like I need a bit of a break from uh, watching TV and being more productive. So I did this colorful washi at the bottom. And then I'll flip that over so you can see that side better. This is today, which after I'm done filming this video, I plan on doing a house cleaning. And my husband has hockey tonight. He does recreational hockey just for fun with his friends on Friday evenings. And again, no use for that yet. And then I kind of started decorating March just a little bit because my mom and her exchange student from Korea are coming to visit us for a week. We have a birthday party and my youngest daughter has to get her uh, four or I guess five-year-old vaccines on the 12th. And then I went through March and I started to just put in stickers for the themes I want to do. I have a Libby & Co. order with a bunch of different weekly kits, so I'm going to do her pastel heaven that week. I'm going to do shamrock, pink shamrock theme this week. 
uh, St. Patrick's Day theme this week as well as it's also my birthday so I'll probably throw some birthday stickers in there. This is going to be the Easter egg kit and then going into April I'm going to do another Easter egg kit because I ordered a ton of Easter egg uh, stickers and Monday's also Easter out here or sometimes we do Easter dinner Monday instead of Sunday. And then this week I'm going to do Libby & Co's Berry Bright. So that's how I'm using my planner this year. The rest of it's empty. I haven't done my note pages yet. But as soon as I do, I will update you on that. Still have my stickers, which I used a little bit for meal planning. I like to put these along the bottom to go with each color scheme. And I don't usually use my folders at all, so I need to get better and find a good use for those so that they're getting used. But again, that's my 2016 Erin Condren Life Planner. As always, I will leave a link to her uh, website under in my comments as well as to any uh, shops that I mentioned. Thank you for watching. See you next time.